Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to use the new Android Studio Locker. So in order to work with the new Android Studio Locker, you have to upgrade the Android Studio to the latest version Dolphin. So if you are using Windows, you can able to see there are one option called help in the top bar and in this place you will see a check for updates option but in my case that's different because I am using the Mac right. So what I want to do is I just want to check this update right check for updates then I have to update to the latest version so in my case I already updated to the latest version so if I see this one about Android Studio I can able to see Android Studio Dolphin after you update the Android Studio to the latest version then if you are using Windows just click the file and here you can able to see one option called settings so in my case I am going to click the Android Studio and I have to click the preferences so in your case you have to click the settings so after you click the settings, you can able to see this kind of window. So you can see in the bottom, there is one option called experimental, right? So you have to click this one. And here in the right side, locket, right? Enable new locket tool window. You have to enable this one. And after that, you have to apply and OK. After you click the OK, then you have to restart your IDE. So in my case, I have already done these changes. So I just click OK. So now we are ready to work with the lockets. First, we try to understand the structure of the locks. So first one, this is a date, right? So here I am highlighting this one. This is a date. And after that, the second one, right? So this is a time. Actually, the, the last one, this is a millisecond, right? So after that, this option, right? So in the first one, this is a process ID. So this process ID unique for each and every application which is running on your device. So once you close the application, this process ID will change. So this is a thread ID. So in your case, if you are using multiple threads to run your program, then you can able to see this different kind of thread ID. And after that, this is tag. So in this place, you can able to see in the main activity, I am creating one tag, right? So this tag, right? The value is the main activity, right? So this is the one, right? I'm calling here. So after that, we can able to see the package. So normally in Android, we can able to see the package in the top of the class, right? Something called D, right? So if you scroll down, right, then I can able to see double Jew, right? For the explanation purpose, I'm going to create all the locks here. I just press plus and I just go to the bottom. And here you can able to see, right? So D mean debug. E mean error, I mean information, V mean verbs, W mean warning, right? So here, so I just uh, copy this one, right? And control F and search it here. I just arrange this one. So here you can able to see D mean debug, E mean error, I mean info, V mean verbs, W mean warning. D, I am getting the different color and E I, V, W, I am getting the different colors, right? If you ever work with the previous Android Studio, right? You can able to see this option, right? Verbs, debug, info, warning, error, asset, right? So these are the options. This is called priority, right? So you can able to see the priority. And after the priority, you can able to see this message, right? So when you take this one, this log, right? So I just hit enter two lines. And when you take this log, right? So this is a tag. For in our case, this is a tag. And after that, this is message, right? So this is a message actually. And we are getting this D here. So Berbers mean so all log messages. D mean so debug log message that are useful during the development only. I mean info so expected log message for regular usage. W mean warning. So possible issues that are not yet errors. E mean error. So the issues that have crash errors. A mean asset. For example, in the assertion we are using in the testing. So we no need to worry about that. So now we try to understand the filtering and other icons. So first I am going to explain about the icons. So you can able to see this dustbin icon. So this is for clearing the locks and this one scroll to the bottom for example if you want to see any of the message in the bottom right you have to manually 
scroll down right so if you click this option within one second you can able to see in the bottom and this one is a strike trace for example if i click this one that will go to that class to strike trace so we no need to worry about these two so this one is a important one that's called sub trap for example if you are getting a long message right then you have to scroll and see what is the message here right so you can see in the icon then you will come to one idea right if i click this one right so there is no horizontal scrolling right because this message right after this message this will come to here right so that's called stop trap so i just can enable or disable that one after that there is one option called configure locate format option so if i click this one right the standard view and this is a comeback view so if i click the comeback view right so i only can see the times and the priority and the lock message right then after that modify views so you can select the views for example if you want to choose the standard so then you can edit the standard and comeback view using this one so if you want to show the process id then you have to enable the process id so if you enable you can able to see the preview here right so i just disable so likewise you can modify i just cancel it this one and this one this is not for capturing the screenshot this is for taking a screenshot of the device for example if i click this one right so this will capture this screenshot right so that's all about the icons the last one is filtering the logs before going to see the filtering if you think you got something from this tutorial please click the subscribe button and give your support as a subscribe so this is the only help i am requesting from you guys and thank you so much in the release note of this feature they have provided the documentation for filtering the logs so i will give this link in the video description so let me explain about this you can use these three specific value to filter the logs first one is a package and second one is a tag and third one is a level so if we take the tag tag is a two types right one is you can exclude the specific value and you can use a regular expression so we will going to see one by one first i am going to take the package so i am going to copy this one make sure you have to copy this colon as well right so i right click and copy this one and i go to my android studio and this place i just right click and paste it so here i have to mention the package id right in the documentation also they have mentioned we have to provide the package id so what is a package id so package id is a package name right so i just copy this one and i paste it here so after i paste this one you can able to see the all the package name right that must be this one right because here specially we are mentioning the package name right so another way also because they are providing right we had to use a mine to filter right so i just copy this one so instead of this package name i can paste this one right so mine then also i can able to see the package name right so com.pms.wordup right so this is a one way we can use a package name so if you want filter the other package name then you you have to add the package name like this one right so what i have done before let's go to the second one the second one is a tag right so i just copy and again i am telling guys make sure the colon i just copy this one so first i am going to delete this one so you can use like this as well but uh, for the explanation purpose i just delete this one right so you can use multiple values in the filtering right so in the tag we have to mention the tag right so if i go to the main activity right so i am going to use the main activity tag so main activity tag is this one right so i just go to the top right so this is the main activity tag right so i just copy this one and paste it here right so then only i can able to see all the tags right which is contains the main activity these are the tags right so right so i just going to take the adapter right so i just going to take the adapter so adapter main adapter right after i put the main adapter then i can only able to see the main adapter logs in the locket right so that's fine so now i go to that the documentation again so you can see in the third one is a level right so after you type the level then you have to mention the priority for example if you type the priority as verbose then you can able to see the verbose info assert debug and warning so if you mention info then you can able to see info assert debug warning error right so 
so for in my case right i just copy this one right the level and i go to that uh, android studio and paste it here so here i am going to type uh, warning right so i am going to type the warning and here you can see after i specify that i pass warning so i can only able to see warning and error right so i am going to type the verbose right i just copy this one so now all the things are available here right but the only misbehavior i observe is right so if you copy this debug and i paste it here and you can able to see right so debug error but info is coming right i think i hope this is a misbehavior and they will going to fix it soon so other than that this is fine guys so this is how you have to use the level right you can see in the second option right exclude a specific value exclude mean hyphen right hyphen mean we are removing the value for example i am using the hyphen right hyphen tag right so again i am copy this one and paste it here right i don't want to see the main activity then if i type the main activity right then i can't able to see the main activity code because here i am mentioning right i am removing that's my hyphen right removing the main activity so here in the tag i can't able to see any logs which is related to the main activity right and after that we can use the regular expression right so make sure you had to use this symbol right not starting in the ending of the tag right i just copy this one and paste it so i just type main adapter right then after i type the main adapter that only contains the tag right if you ever work with this kind of regular expression then you can use like this right make sure tag then this symbol after the symbol you have to make the colon then you can type any of the text then that will filter the logs in the locket window and another option as well we can use the hyphen and the tag right so i just copy this one i just paste it here and here i just type main so if i type main then i can't able to see any logs which is starting with main right so using this locket we can improve our productivity so now i am going to delete everything and here i am going to type package right so again i am typing the mine mine mean in current case this mine package right so this one right so instead of doing the this one we can type mine as well and after that i am going to use a tag so in the tag i am going to use main activity right so then you can use the right so hyphen as well right so here i am using the tag and here i am type adapter or something like yeah adapter right so main adapter so this is how you had to work with the filters so another thing as well right so you can start this one so if you start this one right after you click here you can able to see the all the start one come to the top of this filter and you can able to see the history what we are used to filter the logs right so this is amazing thing and another thing i have to mention so you can right click here and you can create multiple logets for example here i am going to split vertically i just click this one so vertically i created two logs right so if you want analyze the times then you can use this one right so come back to you then you can analyze it so this is the awesome option another thing as well so in the right side i right click here and again i am splitting the right view then it will create another locket so this is a good option guys and if you think this is a good resource for you and please make sure to subscribe and give your support so this is the only help i am requesting you guys and thank you so much and have a great day